You done fucked up, boy. I'm back with another drunk reaction. Today I'm drinking fireballs. I offer them. And today I'm going to continue my daily series this week of um, trying out new pilots to see what people will like me to watch for uh, the 12 Days of Christmas Marathon. Got 78 slots to spill. And I'm looking for uh, meat for the grinder, essentially. <laughs> so, as I'm going to say all week, any of these shows that you want me to watch, just be sure to upvote them, uh, comment, and obviously watch them. And, you know, we'll go from there. This one is Narcos. Um, people have been telling me to watch this since Ozark came out. And I'm not particularly fond of true life stories. Because either too true to life, and life is usually pretty fucking boring, or we already know what's going to happen, or they're not true to life at all, so they're just fucking giving us a slow stroke under the table talking about, oh, this is true, when it's not. So, either way, you kind of lose, you know? <laughs> so, I don't know, but uh, there have been exceptions. There have been exceptions. You know, Beautiful Mind was a great movie, even though they left out, like, most of his fucking affairs, and the way he did that woman dirty, and, like, even think he had, like, two or three wives... And they crush it down into one wife or, you know, so it's a bunch of horse shit, right? So, but it was very well mixed horse shit. You know, they put some chocolate sauce. I'm not going to go down that metaphor. That's bad. Um, point being, we'll just have to see what this is. People say that people seem to like it. Although, you know, people liked Twilight as well. So, you know, um, now probably the only time anybody ever com compares n Narcos to Twilight. Let's just get into this shit. I seem to be meandering all over the fucking place. Let's see if I like it, first of all. Some characters, uh, some of it's bullshit. Okay, yeah, pretty much. It's based on true life, but some of you know, any uh, uh, similarity to real people is just a coincidence. That's not the definition of magical realism. They're already starting out fucking full of shit. I mean, are they saying he had wizards helping him smuggle drugs? Is that what they're saying? First off, there was no internet. No this sounds like the guy who did the narration for Simple Rick. <laughs> Simple Rick Wafers, you remember? And you guessed it. No GPS either. Ever? We didn't need GPS yes, and Simple time. Ricks. We still have you copy that. Can you be more specific? Police units are standing by. Life before Life technology before sucked idea. ass is the point here. I'm Steve Murphy, <laughs> drug enforcement agent. And as you can see... On the I'm side, I make Simple bad. Steve's Wafers. <laughs> Oh shit. We're just trying to dance, man. It's Miss Mateo Moreno, aka Cockroach. And he was smart enough to play dead. That is smart, actually. We didn't know much, but we knew it was some pretty powerful shit. Well, no shit. Cocaine hijacks the pleasure centers in the brain. A rat will choose cocaine over food and water, it will choose cocaine over sleep, over sex. Are you making those rats high? Is that what I'm hearing? You're making those rats high? And the best smugglers in the world were in Colombia. He did the right thing. Get like the Golden fuck out of Chile. Three options. And pay attention because all three are important to this story. Let me guess. You're going to tell us the best option third. Emerald the one he goes with is going to be third. Cockroach worried that the emerald trade had made gotcha too hard. So he zeroed in. So on the third, third option, option is just right. The man Cockroach. Why would we pay attention to the first two options? I heard puta. That's not good. Give me your papers! None of your business, motherfucker. But it's my 12-inch dick. It's, that's the reason. You don't want the consequences. Plata. O plomo. <laughs> What's up, bitch? <laughs> Silver or lead? I love that. You let him go. you goddamn right. Hey, what about my car stereo? Uh, never mind, that was just a metaphor. Yeah, but I wanted a car stereo. Shut up, it was a metaphor. <laughs> Yo, 
You gotta have vision, man. You gotta think big. Do I get a first? So you're the one making the <laughs> Come on, would you do me a favor? Pretty much. I'm gonna show these guys the punch for that. Give me the phone number. I want a fake number. <laughs> I'll work. Hey, buddy, you got a pen? <laughs> Nicely played, sir. Nicely played. What's up, bitches? Is he really gonna call it, dumbass? Of course, it probably is a number, but like, why would you call it? Could happen. I'd wake up some grandmother in Boca. Yeah, but like, I just wouldn't have called it. I guess I would lose out, you know. You mix it with gasoline, and motherfuckers are snorting this shit. Jesus Christ. And ammonia too? Man, these motherfuckers are crazy. Who the fuck would snort this shit? Look, I get it, like the shit they put in, like hot dogs and sausages. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'm I'm in a glass house myself, I understand that. But goddamn, man. Oh, these days, five kilos ain't shit. Usually, they do like thirty. You know. Damn, he's got his mom all up in the criminal business and shit. That's not cool. You're supposed to leave your moms out of this shit. Getting in was easy because nobody worried about cocaine in America. All we cared about was crime. wasn't no war on drugs yet. Didn't do it. The real game change was filling the waiters' planes with coke instead of weed. They've been better off just getting a cocaine aqueduct going straight to fucking America, man. God damn, they're putting a lot of that shit up here. They haven't even mentioned boats yet. I know at some point boats become important for cocaine. Damn, man. Thousand ain't enough, you greedy fuck. We'll leave the engine, right? <laughs> That's a heavy-ass carpet. Cockroach has been having too much of his product. Thirty-five percent. I guess that's a good deal then. He could kiss my ass. Thirty-five percent. When I started, a one kilo grass bust was cause for celebration. <laughs> Before long, somebody snitched. 60 kilos of coke a day. Like I he said, somebody snitched. Instead, he found another way to get his fair share. Yeah, Cockroach thought, you know, he took his name a little too seriously. He thought like, he would survive anything. You know, cockroaches do die. You done fucked up, boy. Look at him. He cheese it for the camera to straight his hair and shit. What a dick. Don't throw his words back in his face. You ain't gonna like it. Give me the ratto. Oh shit. I've never seen a drive by with the motorcycle before. That's a bold choice. Well, you didn't survive this one, motherfucker. They say when a new like cockroach got stepped on after all. Only the cockroaches will survive. I was gonna make that nuclear holocaust joke, but it felt too common. I guess they were wrong. Okay, 
को या पागल ने जो मिशन पर करने से दिया एंटी दला दिया किसे किया था ओह शिट अगर इस मोफर डोंट प्ले मैन व्हेन ही वाज अ किड दे डिन गिव हिम टॉयज कज ही डोंट प्ले ओह दैट्स जस्ट रेसिस्ट डूड I don't know, man. Um, the narration is hard to get through, and also I didn't particularly like the intercutting with real footage. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a whore. If this gets a lot of views and engagement, I'll do it, and you know I won't be bitter about it. I'll, I'll enjoy it. But like I, this, I don't think this is something like just if we were in a vacuum and there was nothing, you know, nothing to do with YouTube. Probably not something I would sit down and watch for entertainment. But we'll see. You know, let me know what you guys think.